This video demonstrates how to parallel park safely to a set routine in day-to-day -day driving. Everything within it is perfectly acceptable and highly encouraged for the UK driving test. When selecting a parking space, for practical reasons, it must be at least one and a half times the size of your own vehicle. Note that cars are more manoeuvrable in reverse gear, and it is therefore easier to reverse into parking spaces than to attempt to drive forwards into the space. Parallel parking is a very useful manoeuvre. We will pull up alongside and parallel to the other vehicle, then reverse slowly in behind the other vehicle, aiming to finish within two car lengths behind them and reasonably close to the kerb. The car must not mount the kerb. Throughout the manoeuvre we will maintain all round observations with a bias to the rear view due to us reversing. Pull up alongside and parallel to the other vehicle. About half a door's width away. Don't be wider than a door's width as you will become more of an obstruction to passing traffic. Select reverse gear immediately. This will activate any reversing lights on your car to alert drivers behind you to your intentions. Note some cars have one reverse light, others have two. Start with the nose of your car slightly further forwards than the nose of the other vehicle. To make this easy, simply set the front of the other car in the middle of the passenger window. Beginning like this will help to keep the manoeuvre easy and workable, no matter the size of the other vehicle. Check all around and, if safe, gently reverse in a straight line until the back ends of the two vehicles are level. This is easily identified by watching for the back end of the other vehicle in your rear passenger side window. The moment you see the very back end of the other vehicle, pause. The back ends of the two vehicles should now be fairly level. Check all around, especially over your right shoulder. This is known as a blind spot check. You must not continue unless it is safe to do so. Steer one whole turn towards the kerb. The rear end of your car will now turn towards the kerb. Allow the car to turn until it reaches approximately a 45 degree angle. An easy way to locate this angle is to look out the rear window for when the kerb disappears. Straighten the wheels immediately by steering one whole turn away from the kerb. This will keep the car approaching the kerb on a 45 degree angle. If you have not done so already, lower your left door mirror all the way down to improve your view of where you are in relation to the kerb. You will never be as accurate if you cannot see where you are going. And as you have mirrors on your car, you might as well use them to make your manoeuvres easier. Continue to reverse until the rear end appears close to the kerb. Use your door handle to help you reference your position in relation to the kerb. When the door handle begins to overlap the kerb, steer one turn away from the kerb to push the back end of the car away from the kerb to prevent it bumping. If this does not appear to be working and you think you will hit the kerb, simply steer an extra turn away from the kerb. When the car is parallel to the kerb, facing neatly towards the vehicle you are parking behind, straighten the wheels, brake gently to a stop, Secure the car using your parking brake and select neutral on the gear lever. Note that it is not essential to straighten the wheels. You must finish within two car lengths behind the other vehicle and reasonably close to the kerb, say within six inches, which is roughly a drain's width. Don't forget to put your left door mirror back to its normal position. If you do forget, either safely correct this whilst driving or park to set it back to the correct driving view before continuing your journey. You may find sometimes you are unhappy with your final position. Maybe the car is finished at an odd angle or maybe you bumped the kerb. Do not be afraid to correct your position. Check around. If safe, pull forwards and straighten the wheels. Select reverse gear. Check around and try again. Correcting your position is not a fault on the driving test. It is a part of the manoeuvre 
and demonstrates your ability to problem solve. When you are finished, ensure you are far enough back from the other vehicle that you can see their tyres. This will ensure you have enough room to get back out again. Otherwise, another car might park behind you and sandwich you in. Control. Keep the speed low throughout the manoeuvre, like an old man walking slowly. Do not rush. There is no set time limit and it is not a race. Don't steer while stationary as this can damage your tyres and steering. This is known as dry steering. Observations. Throughout the exercise, maintain effective all-round observations with a bias to the rear as you are reversing. Accuracy. Finish within two car lengths behind the other vehicle and reasonably close to the kerb. Correct your final position if necessary until you are satisfied. Response to other road users. Attempt to minimise disruption to other road users. What you do should not cause another vehicle to brake harshly or to swerve. You will often find many drivers wait patiently for you to complete the exercise, but you should pause briefly whenever a vehicle passes you. If they move, you stop. If they stop, you move. Thank you.